Hey guys, Axiom Gaming here. It's Sam, and today is going to be part two of the How to Build a Facility video. Except in this part, we're just going to be adding the BB script, scoreboard, admin, and the old animations. I will be doing this on a whole brand new template, so you can see that uh, I'm not lying or anything. So you want to go to Roblox and you want to go to the Develop tab. Now I'll go to create a new place and just do that because I don't need anything else. Let's edit it. Now uh, I'll go to toolbox, go to my models. I'll have to add in the NRBA core of course to test out the jump and stuff. Um, I'll also need the ball. So what you want to do is put the ball, you want to cut it. Click on, just click on core, open it up, click on basketball, right click, and then press cut. And then you want to go to lighting over here, right click, and press paste into. And it should be right there. Now, um, that looks fine. Let's just move the core to the floor because you know how it hangs up there. There you go. Now, that's it for the court. Now, you want to add the old animations. Right here, it's by YV Inc. I will put all the models in the description. Click it in there. It should look like this. That's it. Um, don't edit the script or anything. Now you want to go to workspace. You want to scroll down until you find PGS Physics Solver Enabled. See, as mine is checked, you want to uncheck it. So the act so actually the old animations will work. Um, so now for the BB script. Um, it's actually one of mine. I, I just I made it better. It was a B script, just so you press B. But I figured more people like pressing BB. I'm not sure why, but yeah. Um, let me find it. And I'll add the Night City too for now. There you go. Should be somewhere here. There it is. But now it's just a BB script that you can see right here. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's it for the BB script because you already have the ball in lighting. Uh, as you can see, I'll sh the ball needs to be in lighting so you can actually get it. So as you can see right here, uh, if you type BB, then the game will go into lighting, find something named basketball, which it is, and the player the basketball would you put in the player's backpack. They basically, I put it all right here. As you can see, I put it all in green and to, to tell you how it works. Just read it, as you can see. <laughs> Alright, now um, for the scoreboard. It's also a scoreboard that's in my models. I will be putting it in the description. Word. It's by Collegiate Jokes, I believe is the name. Um, so you have a GUI folder and a scoreboard. Next is clipped out. First you want to do is drag the scoreboard V2 into starter GUI like this. And then you want to go to the GUI folder, open it up, go to admin script, and you see right here local owner admins. I'll put my name. Push. There we go. Um, and if you want to add more people, make sure to put after your name right here. You can put a comma, add two more quotations, go inside, and we can put it like that. There you go. Um, that's pretty much it for the scoreboard. It should work. Um, so we have the animations, the BB script, the scoreboard. Oh yeah, admin. Okay, so now for admin, um, I use Adonis Loader. Just go to Adonis, and it should be right there. Boom. Uh, now you see it has this big highlight or whatever. You can delete that. Go open it up. Thumbnail camera. Delete. Open up configure. Double click settings. Now scroll down. Scroll down until you see this. Um, so what you want to do is right here, moderators, and stuff. So creators, put two quotations, and put your name. Push. 
Um, now, I can tell you what all this stuff means real quick. Um, so right here is all the admins and stuff. Who, who's going to be admin, who's whitelist, blacklisted from the game and stuff. Um, right here, settings on startup. Basically, commands that start up right when you join. Um, save admins, true. If that is true, then uh, whoever you admin in the game, it will save and it will be admin until you unadmin them. Now, for the prefix, you can make it anything. You can make it a, a semicolon. You can make it a dot. You can make it this if you wanted to. Uh, I stick to the regular colon. I believe that works best so it doesn't interfere with any other things. Um, pretty much everything else uh, you can mess with. Um, you can change the auto clean off and stuff. It's already off, but and there's some more stuff. Don't mess with a lot of these. Uh, you could basically ruin the entire script. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go test it out. Let's publish it. Let's go to games. Let's deactivate one of my games. Deactivate. Okay. Oh, it's the oops. Places. As you can see, I have the scoreboard. They yeah, add scores. You can change the team names. Oh yeah, just press on the colors. So purple, uh, green, change. There you go, and you can put uh, game one, change, and it should say right here. There you go. Um, everything else works. Everything's fine. You can see. The splash. Here, let me turn up my volume and you can hear it. There you go. Watch. Splash. And, and stuff like that. Um, well, yeah. Uh, that's from self explanatory. Um, for the admin, you just press commands. And all the, all the commands should be right here. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Uh, so it does take some time. Um, now let's try the BB strip. Press BB, you get a ball. Now we can try out the physics. Let's see. When you jump, yep, it looks perfect. Yeah, this is great. Amazing. Alright, um, so, also, if you want to put the ball, uh, so you can do this. See, you can't do that right now. Because it's not in server storage, you can look at tools. Watch tools. Uh, there's nothing here. Um, if you want to the ball, so you could uh, do give me B and stuff like that. You have to put the ball in uh, server storage. I can do that right now, real quick. So let's go to lighting. Let's duplicate it. Cut it, go to server storage, paste into, uh, publish it again, let's press play, now let's look at tools, you can see basketball is right there, let's turn the volume off, basketball is right there, and you can say give me me, and you get a ball, you can also do keybind, Keybind G, give me B. Uh, you can't do that with this admin. Press G, command, give me B. Press add, and press just press G. You don't have to say anything, and now you can shoot around and stuff without clicking. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this part two of the how to build a facility tutorial. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.